Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Rudder Lessons and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it and I hope you're doing well. So here we have a brand new men's fragrance from the company Hermes. This one is called H24. I'm really excited to give you my thoughts on it, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin with my thoughts and my fragrance review on H24 by Hermes, the brand new men's fragrance for 2021, I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, if you like fragrance reviews here on YouTube, but also top 10 videos, giveaways, unboxings, special guests, and more, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click on that red button in the corner. And of course, while you're at it, please make sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell icon. So the year is 2021. Hermes just released a brand new men's fragrance. This has been a long time in the making. Uh, the perfumer is Christine Nagel and she's going to be making a lot more fragrances for the house of Hermes. And with this being the brand new men's fragrance and knowing what Hermes's identity is all about, these bright, fresh, often green, herbal, aromatic, and sometimes um, culinary types of fragrances. If you're familiar with Un Jardin and that whole line, you have a lot of these garden-inspired fragrances, whether we're talking about Sur le Nil or Sur le Toit or any of these fragrances. And this kind of falls in line with that. So I found that to be pretty interesting that they are staying true to their roots, despite the fact that many of those previous compositions were composed by a different perfumer, Jean-Claude. Elena. Now this one features a molecule known as the sclerene molecule and it has a warm and sensual metallic smell but it's one that is also supposed to evoke the smell of a hot iron being pressed upon a damp woolen cloth and it kind of brings you back to the factories of Hermes where they make and produce these articles of clothing and these fabrics and all these wonderful materials and so I kind of like how they tied that into the perfume but it is a more complex note breakdown so it has palisander rosewood it has narcissus it has that metallic thing going on in here but I'm also getting a bit of citrus and some aromatic ingredients as well in addition to the clary sage which is listed in the note breakdown but in any case I'm excited to tell you about the smell let's start with the presentation Now the opening of this fragrance is really bright and juicy. There is something fruity about it, there's something herbal about it, there's something citrusy about it as well. Now I know Clary Sage is listed in the note breakdown, but I don't think it stops there. I get something very green, something verdant, something leafy. I don't know if I'm necessarily smelling tarragon or basil or something herbal of that nature. And it's giving this very bright green, overtone that kind of reminds me of some of the Un Jardin fragrances. Now, I personally own a few. I have Un Jardin Sur le Nil, which is one of my favorites. That one is this sort of mango tomato leaf kind of a fragrance. And I get a little bit of that, that viney, earthy, rooty, uh, culinary vibe that's coming through. And I also get a little bit of that citrus in here as well. So the citrus is kind of nondescript, so it doesn't smell distinctly of mandarin or grapefruit or yuzu or anything like that. It's pro probably or perhaps a combination of different citrus ingredients, maybe a little bergamot here, a little lemon there. But I definitely get this green overtone, which is really interesting. Now, I thought that this was kind of a contrast where whenever you think of metallic, you think of cool, you think of icy, you think of sharp, but the sclerene molecule in here not only gives this um, a metallic overtone, but it also has a warm and sensual sort of a metallic smell, which are two adjectives that I wouldn't normally pair with the word metallic, but for some reason it does kind of work here. Now, I'm not too familiar with the smell of a hot iron on a damp woolen cloth, uh, but I would say in the case of this fragrance, there is something kind of warm underneath. And that's the reason I say that is because there's something a little sweet in here as well. 
Now the sweetness is not a tonka bean or vanilla kind of sweetness. It's not like the other contemporary, you know, mass marketed men's fragrances that rely too heavily on vanilla or tonka bean and that go in that sort of clubbing or partying direction. I don't necessarily get that from this fragrance. This fragrance definitely keeps it classy, refined, mature, sophisticated. If you're familiar with fragrances like Terre d'Hermes, Voyage d'Hermes, or any number of the Un Jardin fragrances, you are going to get something very similar to that in here. So you have the clary sage, you have the rosewood, you have the sclerene molecule, you have the narcissus, and yes, there is a floral component to this fragrance. And narcissus is one of those ingredients that normally scares me, and I would probably group that together with like freesia, elang elang occasionally because I do find that they are a bit heady. Sometimes they can be tropical leaning and most of the time they're feminine. Nothing about this fragrance smells feminine to me, which was great, you know, especially with it being a fragrance that's marketed for men. You wanna feel comfortable pulling it off. You don't wanna have any second thoughts or second guesses when it comes to the purchase. What I like about this is that it's a different green smell uh, in comparison to the ones that we're probably used to. And so if you are familiar with some of the other olfactory expressions from the House of Hermes, and you know how they have that tendency to lean in green territory, you can also kind of expect something a little bit different with this one. Something with that, you know, metallic undertone, which is not too metallic. Sometimes when fragrances get too metallic, they can be a little bit off-putting and nobody likes the smell of a rusted fence or a wet dog. I usually, when I think of metallic, that's where my mind goes. There is absolutely none of that going on in this fragrance. So it's a very nice fragrance, very classy, kind of understated. It's not too loud or boisterous, especially on my skin. I feel like it was rather soft, but it was still noticeable. I actually did about five or six sprays on my shirt and I was able to smell it all throughout the day. And I actually already put a little bit of a dent in it, which is surprising. And I think a lot of that also has to do with the fact that I don't think I was satisfied with just three or four sprays. I think I upped it to like seven, eight, nine sprays just because one, it's a very fresh fragrance, so I don't feel like you can overdose on it. And two, it was a little bit on the lighter side. And so I see this one being a really nice, casual, day-to-day -day fragrance. I see it being a really nice office fragrance. I see it being a really nice date fragrance, especially if you're going to dress up. Perhaps it's a hotter day or you live in a hotter climate. You don't want to wear something that veers in sweet territory. And the absence of that is what I think is keeping this fragrance smelling very classy and very sophisticated and refined, like I mentioned before. So overall, I'm very satisfied with this purchase. I actually purchased it directly from Hermes's website the moment that it became available. And... Um, a part of me kind of feels like I would have purchased or I should have purchased the bigger bottle, but in any case, I'll be enjoying this one. And if and when I do run out of it, I will be repurchasing it because I do like the smell. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, I do find this fragrance to be pretty unique, but I think it's also aesthetically similar to other fragrances that Hermes has put out. So if you are familiar with some of their other fragrances, whether we're talking about like Terre d'Hermes, and you know that they have a propensity of leaning in that green, earthy, herbal, and citrusy direction, you are going to get something that's aesthetically similar with this fragrance, but at the end of the day, it still does smell unique, which I think is really important. And the overall smell is very pleasant. It's not too floral, it's not too metallic, and so even though these notes are listed in the note breakdown, I don't think that they're overwhelming in any sense. There's, there's a fair balance among all of the ingredients that are used in here. The longevity on this one was about five to six hours. Now, I did spray it on my my shirt and I found that when I did it actually seemed to last a little bit longer but when I sprayed it on my skin I felt like it lasted only about four to five hours and then right around that six hour mark I felt like I really had to dig my nose into my skin to be able to perceive this one and I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that it utilizes some lighter ingredients and Probably with the exception of the palisander rosewood, there aren't too many base ingredients in here. I think had there been more of a, 
uh, focus on the base. I think this one could have lasted a little bit longer, but then of course it would have changed the smell drastically and I am very satisfied with the smell. So it's one of these fragrances where I can see myself spraying it a few times throughout the day just to get the, that full effect of the opening, which is my favorite part of the fragrance. The projection was great for the first hour and a half of application just because it has a lot of citrus in here, not listed in the note breakdown, but you are going to smell citrus and you are going to smell that herbal property uh, which is probably the most abundant in the opening. In terms of the versatility, I can see this one working really well in the hotter weather. So I think this is a great springtime fragrance and you know spring is almost here, so that's great. Uh, summer would work perfectly for this one as well. I think this would work really nicely on a date, especially if you're gonna be dressed up, you wanna give an aura of professionalism. I think this one would work really well in that sort of social occasion. I think this one is also really good for um, an office type of a scent. I think it does lean masculine despite the fact that it contains narcissus and some other ingredients that are also used quite heavily in women's perfumes. There is something masculine about this fragrance as well. And in terms of the presentation, I actually quite like the fine details on the cap and the bottle and the box. So my final verdict on this fragrance is if you are familiar with the House of Hermes and you know the types of fragrances that they put out and you know that they have a proclivity for releasing fragrances that are bright, green, citrusy, herbal, you're gonna get something that is aesthetically similar with this fragrance, but they still manage to do things a little bit differently, which I actually quite respect. I think especially when considering a lot of other designer fragrances that just, you know, have an overdose of tonka bean or vanilla and more recently, they try to spice it up. Uh, this one is quite different from that. So it was a breath of fresh air. It was a healthy and a pleasant change of pace. I'm personally a fan of this one and you know I don't recommend blind buys. So if you have the opportunity to sample this fragrance at a local department store when it becomes a little bit more widely available, I would definitely recommend that you go out there, smell it for yourself and I hope you like it. So. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching me today. Uh, that was my fragrance review of H24 by Hermes. If you own or have tried this fragrance, please let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Also, please don't forget to subscribe for future videos. And of course, while you're at it, make sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell. Thanks again for watching. Love you all, and we'll see you soon. Bye.